Hi everyone, it's Grace from Esri. In this video, we will follow the Import an ArcMap Document tutorial in ArcGIS Pro. This tutorial will show you how to import an ArcMap document into ArcGIS Pro, view the imported maps and layout, and make any necessary adjustments to a layout. You can follow the full written instructions for this tutorial in the ArcGIS Pro documentation. Let's get started. First, we will take a look at the map document in ArcMap. It has two data frames, one for the suburb of Kelburn and one for the city of Wellington. The map document includes a layout as well. Now that we know what the map document looks like, let's import it into ArcGIS Pro. I've started ArcGIS Pro and signed in to my ArcGIS Online account. We will open a new project without a template and reset the panes for mapping so that only the contents and catalog panes are open. Go to the Insert tab and click Import Map. Under Portal, make sure that ArcGIS Online is selected and search for Kelburn Map. A map view named Kelburn opens. This map corresponds to one of the two data frames in the ArcMap map document. A transformation warning notification appears because some of the map layers have different geographic coordinate systems, but this isn't a concern for this tutorial. In the catalog pane, expand the maps container. The project contains two maps. The Kelburn map is open now, and the Wellington map is the second data frame from the ArcMap document. Each data frame in an ArcMap document becomes a separate map in ArcGIS Pro. Here's a reminder of how the data frames looked in ArcMap. Right-click the Wellington map and open it. The city limits of Wellington are shown in light yellow, and the Kelburn suburb is marked with a red outline. Back in the catalog pane, expand the Layouts container. The layout in an ArcMap document becomes a layout in ArcGIS Pro. The name of the layout matches the name of the imported ArcMap document. Let's open the layout. The project now has three open views the Kelburn map, the Wellington map, and the Kelburn map layout. Let's look at both maps to confirm that the layer properties set in ArcMap have been maintained in ArcGIS Pro. First, we will look at the Kelburn map. In the Contents pane, click the Zoning layer to select it. In the Feature Layer tab, click Symbology. You can see that the zoning layer is symbolized by unique values in the zone field of the layer attribute table, just as it is in ArcMap. Right-click the roads layer. Under Data Design, click Fields. You can see that the field names, aliases, data types, and other properties are identical to how they looked in ArcMap. Close the fields view and make the Wellington map view active. On the Map tab, click Bookmarks and go to the Suburbs bookmark. The bookmarks were also imported from the ArcMap document. In the Contents pane, click the Suburb Boundaries layer to select it and click the Feature Layer tab. Notice that the Out Beyond is set to 1 to 100,000, which matches the layer scale range setting in ArcMap. Click the Labeling tab. Notice that the Label button is selected confirming that labeling is turned on for this layer. You can see that the font, font size, and font color match the ArcMap layer property settings as well. Now, let's take a look at the Kelburn map layout view. In the Contents pane, click Alternating Scale Bar. The item is selected in the Contents pane and on the layout. Click the Design tab. The division value, number of divisions, and units have been imported correctly from ArcMap. Let's make a couple small changes to the layout. In the Catalog pane, right-click the layout and click Rename. Rename the layout to Kelburn Layout. Back in the Contents pane, click the Text 1 element to select it. In the Layout tab, click Selected Elements to zoom to the text box. The word centers is marked with a wavy red underline to indicate that it may be misspelled. It is actually spelled correctly according to British style and doesn't need to be changed. 
return to the full extent of the layout. The layout contains two map frames, each with text elements that give credit to the data providers. Both text elements are marked with overflow indicators, meaning that the elements have more content than is displayed. Click the text to element to select it. Right click it and click zoom to select it. Zoom out slightly to view the overflow indicator. Hover over the lower middle selection handle of the text element and drag downward slightly until the overflow indicator disappears. Repeat this step with the text 5 element. Zoom back to the full extent of the layout and clear the selection. For more detailed steps, follow the full written tutorial in the ArcGIS Pro documentation, linked in the description for this video.